We're here with our NVIDIA RTX 50 series lineup. Right here we have the ROG Astro in the water cooling configuration as well as the air cooling configuration. What I love about both of these is that they offer the most flexible, high-end gaming performance you can get. What you might think with a large radio, radio like this is that it's going to be hard to put in a build, but when you look at it, it's hardly more than a two-slot card. Yeah. That actually is the part that I think most people have the hardest time accommodating. This is our air cooling solution, and what's great about it is that we actually were able to fit a uh, fourth yeah. fan right here. We're offering the highest level uh, of cooling that we can because this is basically our flagship model. We want to make sure that it's staying cool and also providing the most power that you can get. What's great about it is we also have uh, fan headers so that if you optimize your airflow in your case, you can actually have it so that it's uh, pulling power directly for the GPU. You can have some of your fans focused on your CPU, you can have fo some focused on your GPU, so you hook them in straight here. We do actually have the compa uh, capacity on ROG motherboards to direct specifically for the GPU, uh, like fans directly for the GPU temperature, mm -hmm. but this is nice if you're using a mixed system yeah. and you want to just prioritize your CPU's cooling capacity. That's really cool. What's great is that we're not just offering the highest end builds, we're offering products across our range for the RTX 50 series, including stuff like our Prime right over here. And what's great about the Prime is it's a really nice, really compact solution while still offering you some really great capacity with it. It has a uh, three fan shroud, it's pretty nice for um, power capacity, and it's just a really nice looking uh, video. Package. I love the design of it. I yeah. love the, can you, uh, can we turn? Turn that. Yeah, sounds good. You see that like that curbside there? It's a really, really cool design element. I like a lot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean oh, to take no. it out of your hands. Please feel free. Apologize. It's Actually, so can I hold this? Yeah, of course. <laughs> And there's a lot of great technology built into this one. It has a vapor chamber mm -hmm. so that you can make sure it has this uh, coolest, um, it's staying cool, as well as it has phase change material to make sure that it's staying um, optimized for the specific solution. Sometimes the cooling components will be liquid, sometimes they'll be solid. It really depends. But we're making sure that we're offering the best performance when we're offering the ROG Astro. There's just two more cards I'd like to focus okay, on. Okay, yeah, here. let me, I'll put it down. Gently, we don't Do want I to have? drop it like <laughs> I'd probably be safer if I just took it, honestly. Uh, I think maybe less, next time. It's likely to drop it. Yeah. Okay. What's great is we also have the regular ROG Strix. I believe this is the 5070 Ti variant. You can see here, it still has a really robust cooling solution. And what's really cool about these ones is you're still getting the CPU fan headers okay. right there. It's one of our more gaming-oriented cards, but I think it's one of the ones that a lot of gamers are going to gravitate towards, especially with the shroud design. It just looks great. Yeah, yeah, it really does. And lastly, we're going to talk about the one that I think is actually my favorite, which is the Tough Gaming um, RTX cards. You'll see here, it still has that giant, robust design, so you're going to have the best longevity with the build. It's also something that I think will look good in pretty much any build. Yeah. It's a very neutral design, but that's a good thing sometimes. Well, and again, it, 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 it has that tough kind of militaristic industrial feel. Absolutely. I think it's awesome. I love the incorporation of like the little caution bars. Absolutely. And yeah, it's yeah. 10 out of 10. I'll take them all. Oh, we'll start packing those up for you. Thank you. But I think that's everything we have to cover today on I, the RTX side. And I could sit here and gawk and drool over everything, but then I'd have to pay for it. Yeah. Samir, thank, thank you, you so, so much for your time. I really this has been amazing. I love everything Asus does, so I'm happy so to be here. here. We're really excited to show you more in the future. And we'll be back. We'll be back. Take care.